Xbox 360, which is a tethered exploit. Which you have exploit. to load every time you reboot the console. But it can, of course, allow you to run your homebrew application And essentially be very similar to something like a JTAG or an RGH. just through software. Obviously, it has its limitations compared to a JTAG or But it is still very RGH. useful for people who don't want to open up their console. To be able to console. run homebrew and emulators and all SO, of that basically, stuff. basically, the advantage here is that we now have something called a bad avatar, which now uses the avatar application on the console to run the exploit instead of using Rock Band, Blitz, or another game. So you don't have to load up into a game in order to run the You can exploit. essentially just have it run as soon as the console boots, which makes it feel more like an untethered exploit. Rather than a tethered exploit, it's still technically a tethered exploit. But the Exploit. fact that it runs automatically whenever you boot up the console definitely has more of an untethered feel to which it Which is now. a big improvement here. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out here in this video. So in order to get started, we're gonna get our USB drive and plug it into our console. I'm just gonna start with a blank USB. If you already have the bad update, set up on a USB, you can just install the bad avatar. Which we'll cover in just a minute. But if you're setting it up for the first time, we're just gonna head into our system settings We're gonna here. go down to storage. Make sure the USB drive is plugged in. If it's in. showing up as unformatted, you can press on it. Otherwise, you can press Y for device options and format it. And basically, we just want to format the drive on the console itself because this will set up the USB in the correct partition scheme as well as the correct format. And then it should show up as a USB storage that device That you can store here. stuff on. So at that point, we can go ahead and simply unplug that USB and plug it into our computer. So we want to download the bad avatar. It's currently in public beta version 1.0. This is coming to us from developer Shutterbug 2000. Says it's same as version 1.1. But just wanted to get a proper source out. So we've got all of the information now, here. Now you do need to have system update version 1.7.9 installed on your console in order for this to work. I'll also cover how you can get that installed. But basically, we just want to download a bad avatar public beta 1.0. Just download the latest version here from the zip file. Now in order to just quickly get all of the files I'm installed. I'm gonna again just use bad builder. Which just makes it quick and easy. You can obviously install everything I'll leave manually. the links in the description to a bad update. An AXC unshackle and all of that stuff. I'll leave that all in the video description. But this just makes it quick and easy to get this stuff so installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just download Bad And Builder. you can also download the .NET framework. It requires version 8 of the .NET framework. So you can just go ahead and download and install you that. you cannot get the Bad Builder application running. So that is basically it so with all with of that. With our USB drive plugged you in You can here. see it right here. So I'm gonna open up the Bad Builder. And we'll press enter to build exploit USB. Select our USB drive that we formatted on the Xbox 60 3. and press enter. And then Y for yes to reformat. And then it will give us all of the applications that we can install. We don't actually need Rock Band So Blitz. I can press space to unselect that. You can press space to select. And unselect certain applications to install. We don't need Rock Band Because we're Blitz. not using that to run the exploit anymore So that with is this. all good. And we can go ahead and just select everything else. And then else. press enter to accept. And that will download everything. And then for which program we want Bad Update to launch. We're gonna select XC Unshackle and press enter. And that should get that installed. Now would you like to add homebrew programs? I'm just gonna do and for no cause I'm gonna add that manually. Your USB drive is ready there to go. There we go so that should be done. So when I go onto the USB drive. You can drive, see it shows up bad here. Bad update and it's got all of the files now I'll added. I'll also go ahead and install the Aurora dashboard. I can just download the latest release here. And then I've got it opened here in 7-zip. Which I'll leave in the description. And what I'll do is I'll just create a homebrew folder in here and i'll go into that homebrew folder and i'll extract my aurora dashboard in here okay there we go that is now now installed. i'll just hold down the shift key on my keyboard right click on aurora.xex and copy i'll as also path. go ahead and open up the launch.in which file is the here. dash launch configuration file and i'm just going to change the default equals to automatically boot into Aurora, all I need to do is just change the file so path. So it's USB colon backslash. Homebrew backslash. Aurora.xex and I'll get rid of the double quote. And that should be it so I can go ahead and save and that. that's just how I'm gonna have my bad update configured. So now once you have your bad updates USB set up, 
you can go ahead and install a bad so avatar. So if we open up the zip file here, you can see we have bad update payload and a content folder. So we're just going to copy these two folders into the root of our USB drive to install it. It is as simple as that. So there we go. That should now be installed. Now last but not least, if you don't 7 have file 9 dashboard installed, you're gonna want to download the system update file for it, which I will leave linked in the description. You can just open up this zip file here, and you'll see this dollar sign system update folder. You just want to copy that also into the root of your USB drive, and then when you plug it into the Xbox if 360, if you don't already have the update, it installed. should prompt you to install the system update, which will then extract it from this USB. And and install it. It's not recommended to install the update from Xbox Live. Just in case Microsoft changes something in the avatar update. In the Xbox Live version that might patch this. So just install the update from a Drive USB. like this if you are on an older system version. So anyway, once we have everything installed on we the USB. We can go ahead and eject the drive and plug it into our Xbox 360. Okay, so once we're on the Xbox 360, if you plug in if that you're USB not drive, already on 759, it will come up with a notification telling you to update. So just say yes to install. It. Also, make sure you're not connected to the internet at the moment. So just head into your network settings and obviously make sure you disconnect. I think if you're connected to one of the Wi Fi networks, you can press Y to disconnect and that will disconnect you. So just make sure that you don't have, you know, an internet connection on your console at the moment. So you need to make sure that you don't have auto sign in enabled on any of your profiles. Otherwise, it will skip loading the update and it will just log into your normal profile. So we need to go ahead and head into our signing preferences under profile here and just make sure that the auto signing option is turned off on your profile. So that's the first thing. The second thing, if we sign out of my profile now and go to sign in. You can see at the top we have a new profile a showing bad up. Avatar, you don't actually want to sign into this it profile. It does not require either. signing into it to trigger this. And actually, when you go to sign in, it gives you a passcode. And that's to prevent accidental sign in. Because signing in while you're connected to, to Xbox this profile Live. could potentially result in a so ban. So obviously, we don't want that's to do that. That's why that's protected there. So all we need to do with auto sign in turn off. We can now turn off our console and then turn it back on. Okay, we got Xbox 360 loading up. And then here we go. A bad avatar is free software if you paid for it demand or Love refund. Love it. Love to see it okay, so now we the just The advantage wait. of something like Rock Band Blitz was that we had the rolling background. So you could tell if the exploit failed or froze. Because it would obviously... You know that rolling background would freeze. In this case, you can scroll over the different profiles to make sure that the console hasn't frozen. So that's still the way that you can To check. make sure that the exploit is still running. Because again, it can take about, you know, 30 seconds to 2 minutes or so to actually run. And then obviously, if the exploit it fails, it will freeze and then you won't be able to scroll through the um. Profile selection menu and obviously, you don't want to log into any profiles here because that will interrupt the exploit. You just want to leave it on this screen until it is successful. So we're just going to wait it out here and wait for this to actually load. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work first time. But if not, oh, yep, that's a success. There we go. XC and Shackle now running. And that is our software hypervisor exploit now up and running here. So we can press the back button to exit. Do not worry about my CPU key and DVD They were leaked key. like 15 years ago. It's all good. And we are on a black screen for a but while. But there we have a Aurora now loading. Because I obviously set up the dash launch configuration to load Aurora, file. And now it's scanning all of my content okay. And after loading up Aurora here as you we can see. We are now see, up and running with our exploit. And we can load all of our games from in now, here. Now, I've, I've already gone ahead and Aurora set this up. Or takes a while to load up for and the first time. And you have to manually add your content here in the content and section. And add your, your path to scan for content. So I've already gone ahead I'm and done this. I'm not showing that in this video. Because it's all covered in my previous video. Which shows you how to set up the bad update from and scratch. And get everything set up to be able to access all of your content. And obviously a word of warning as is well. Is just to make sure you don't fully install. Dash launch via the application version. Or write anything to the flash partition.
On the storage, when you run X, X menu and you press the X button, you have your different partitions, which are the hard drive. The USB, but there's also a flash partition in there, which is like your NAND storage. So obviously don't want to write With anything this software, to that. only hypervisor exploit. It's booting into a retail NAND. So if you do anything that modifies the NAND, then it's not going to be able to so boot. So that is it is going to be an issue. So obviously, make sure you avoid writing anything to that flash partition. You know do not write your NAND in simple 3. 16 NAND flasher do not write anything to the flash partition. And do not fully install dash launch via the application version, which will actually um, also write stuff to the NAND and cause corruption. So you gotta be aware of that when you're using the software. Hypervisor exploit But like that this. is the general idea. The basic setup here with them a bad avatar. If I go ahead and dashboard and hold down or 1. I'll take me back to the normal dashboard so it's it really incredible to see the progress with this exploit. Going from taking forever to load and having like a 30% success and rate. And not really being that useful or practical. To then having the massive reliability and speed improvements of having it load within about 2 minutes. To now being able to also load it automatically. As soon as the console boots. So it feels more like an untethered exploit. Compared to a tethered exploit. Just makes a huge difference. And again, I'll leave my full Xbox 360 bad update guide in the video if description. If you want to learn how to kind of get Aurora set up properly. As well on various homebrew apps. And dump your apps. NAND. Which you should do when you first load up the exploit. To have a backup so all of that stuff as well. So anyway that'll do it Hope for this one. Hope you guys one. enjoyed this video or found the if information you did, please useful. leave a like and, and once subscribe. Again, I'll hopefully